This is Taylor Dressel interviewing Scott Fisher about the 1996 Everest expedition. How did you first get into climbing? I was 14 years old and I saw a TV show that was about mountaineering and I was completely thrilled about it. And sooner that year I enrolled in Outward Bound course at the National Outdoor Leadership School. Before embarking on the Everest expedition of 1996, what were your feelings toward it? Did you believe that you and your team would make it to the top? Why or why not? I've climbed Everest four other times, but I was never a guide. I've only reached the summit once, and that was two years ago before this ex expedition. I had major confidence that the Mountain Madness team was going to beat Hall's team to the summit. What challenges did you face during the acclimatization period? I started to get sick, and with such high altitudes, it made it worse, and I was constantly tired, and it just didn't really work out. How helpful was your leader, guide, or climbing star? Lobsang was very helpful because at one point, I couldn't go any farther. He sat there with me until he couldn't anymore, and he went and got other Sherp Sherpas to save me. Did you reach the summit of Everest? What tribulations did you face on the ascent? I did reach the summit, but way later than I should have. Oops, sorry. Damn. I wasn't feeling good, and I told the team I'd catch up later. Instead of turning around, I kept climbing, but I was tired and didn't feel good on the way back down, and I got to a point where I couldn't go any farther. What do you believe caused so many deaths? Was the storm the only cause, or were others at fault? Well, there was no exact fall around far turnaround time, so that wasn't a good factor there of why there were so many deaths. And the storm didn't help because there was a huddle that got stuck on the mountain. So the storm and yeah. If you could describe the expedition in just one sentence, what would you say? That I was scared to death. Why? That I was scared to death. Oh, why? Oh. <laughs> Anywho, um, why? Because it's cold and you're in a really high above sea level. And it's scary. <laughs> what advice do you have for future Everest climbers? When climbing Everest, it's really every man for himself. And when you do have a turnaround time, you should follow it because not everything is going to go right, especially on Everest. And you never know what's going to happen next. And I am Scott Fisher. And you are dead.